Hi, I am Bhavan Gupta. I am Telecom Software Architect uh, with CalSoft. I am going to uh, touch upon how a mobile packet core network is deployed in the cloud uh, in an NFE system. Uh, traditionally, uh, the mobile packet core network uh, has uh, been run on proprietary hardware solutions and now this model uh, is changing to deploy the same services on a virtualized infrastructure. Um, when you actually uh, deploy a solution uh, in, a, in an NFE ecosystem, there are multiple elements involved in that to make the solution happen. And what we are going to discuss here is a high level design of how the solution would look like and how it would work. So first let's cover the end-to-end -end picture. You know, so we have a mobile subscriber here uh, that connects to the radio access network and then transmits and receives data via the packet core network that you see here. What you see here is the mobile packet core uh, solution uh, and we are actually covering uh, a few nodes, uh, MME, S gateway and P gateway. Uh, there are other nodes you know, for, which we do not include for simplicity of uh, explanation. What you see here is is the cloud you know this is where your mobile packet core cloud is in the data center and it comprises of the compute storage and network hardware resources on top of these resources you would build the virtual infrastructure where you would deploy these services in form of virtual machines or containers so let's talk about the network you know how how does the network look like uh, in, 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 a, in the mobile uh, EPC world. So what we have here is the base network uh, which is used to typically send, you know, keep alive and health check messages between the services. So it's not used for very heavy traffic. Uh, you have the east-west network that is used to send control and data packets between these services. And then you have the North-South One network, which is used to connect to the ingress network, uh, which is you know talking to the radio access network in this case. And finally, you have the North-South Two network, which connects to the internet. So basically, it sends the data to the internet and fetches the data for the mobile subscriber from the internet. Okay. Now this network that you see here, uh, could be deployed as a virtual network or it could be actually a physical network as well but for this discussion we would assume that you know this is a virtual network that has been created what you see here are the EPC nodes uh, you have the control and data plane um, again this is at a high level uh, the serving gateway and P gateway have both the control and data plane uh, components and they could run as a single node in a single virtual machine but then there are different designs which separate the control and uh, data plane nodes uh, in serving gateway and P gateway. Assuming that uh, you know the details of the design are left to the um, operator, uh, what we will show is how the solution is built you know, in an OpenStack cloud. So what you see here is an OpenStack controller um, and that would actually manage this uh, virtual infrastructure and also deploy these services. Uh, the virtual machines uh, for the EPC services are actually onboarded um, on OpenStack cloud actually and it is the OpenStack controller which you know deploys these VMs on a given hardware you know so the controller would not only de deploy these services but it is also responsible for creating the network underneath and the whole solution is actually orchestrated with a Mano orchestrator now whatever has been designed here you know is actually defined in a template file which is also known as Tosca template so the the network design uh, the this, the description of the services, how they are going to be connected to each other, uh, all that is described in the Tosca template. 
and this Tosca template is fed to the Nano Orchestrator, which then communicates with the OpenStack controller to make the decisions to deploy the, the services. So this is how, at a very high level, you see how EPC network uh, would be created um, in the cloud. Again, you know, this is a very high level design, but it explains the principles of, of, of an NFE system. Right, thank you for watching the video. For any question and queries, uh, please feel free to reach out at marcom at calsoftinc.com. Thank you.